it only takes maybe 10 minutes tops. Cheers. Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, this video is all about cooking. Um, for those of you who follow me on social media, on Instagram and Twitter, you guys know that Jonathan, my husband and I are doing 31 days of a plant-based diet. So this video is all about cooking a really quick, easy meal for like lunch or dinner. So I hope you guys enjoy. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe while you're over there with the thumbs up. Go ahead and click it. And then also turn on my post notifications so you guys know when my videos go up twice a week. So I hope you guys enjoy this video because I'm just learning how to cook like this. And I have to say, this is really easy. So it only takes maybe 10 minutes tops. So uh, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay guys, so all of this is just from our local grocery store. It's not, you can get it from Whole Foods, of course, but you also, we got this from Ralph's. So any supermarket next to you will have this, will have these ingredients. It's really, it's only one, two, three, four, five. So first is just a plain fajita mix. Obviously you guys can get these individually and cut them and slice them yourself, but I like to save some time and it is a little more expensive to buy it packaged like this, but it's so easy because once you know I go over to the stove, I just dump the whole entire thing in. Then we have some pinto beans, and these, you can get whatever pinto beans that you prefer and like. So um, any can section at the grocery store will have these. Now this is definitely different and has an acquired taste because this is where we get our protein from, and this is called jack fruit and it is vegan so it basically is like a, a meat substitution and it has a little bit of seasoning in it as well Jonathan really likes this a lot I've only had this once I'm gonna have it again tonight after I cook for you guys um, it's really good I don't really find it any different than meat so far but we'll see after I take a bite of these then um, this is vegan cheese and Jonathan loves this as well. So um, this is obviously a cheese substitute. And then this is just the tortilla that I picked out because it is gluten-free as well as uh, vegan because there's nothing in it that has anything that you're not allowed to eat as vegan. So obviously this is day 20 for me. So I'm very new to this whole plant-based world. And so far, so good. And I've dieted like, I feel like I've done a million diets. And so far, me and Jonathan are hanging in and doing pretty well. But anyways, these are the five ingredients, really easy um, and inexpensive as well. So let's get to it. Okay, guys, so now obviously we're at the stove and I have everything set up. My beans are going to go in here. And honestly, I don't need this big of a pot, but you know what? That was the only thing that was clean. So we're doing what we got to do. And then you let those bad boys just simmer. Then cut open our fajita mix. And this is why I love this, because I literally just dump. And then turn on the stove. And you just let that sizzle. Then you take your jackfruit and Cut it and you just dump it. Make sure everything is on. And see, it's kind of crazy. Like, this does look like chicken or pork, but it's not. Jonathan, you like the jackfruit? Yes, ma'am. So you just let all of this cook. It's all on your preference too on how hot you like everything, but I like everything really hot. And in the meantime, then you take your tortillas and you can do two options. I usually will just throw it on my burner and flip it that way to heat it up, but that's like the Mexican style. My husband's white, so he the first time he ever saw me do that with a tortilla, he was like, oh my God, what are you doing? You're gonna burn the house down. But any of my Latin people out there, you know what's up. You know what's up. Hot nacho. Sure. Exactly. So let me throw this away so that I don't teach anybody like a fire hazard. I'll, tell, I'll show you the, just like the microwave. 
So then to heat up the tortillas, Jonathan will have probably four because these are little. So I'm going to heat them all up like this and then just warm them up for like 30 seconds or so in the microwave. And then we're going to work on this. The beans are probably already done. The jackfruit is what's going to take the longest. You guys, for the meat eaters out there, doesn't this look like meat? I really feel that I would fool my dad. I think he wouldn't know. He thinks he would though. Ooh, that would be a good video. Barry Nelson getting fed some vegan tacos. I wonder if he would, do you think he would know, Jonathan? Yeah, he'd know. I don't think so. So as you guys can see, there's not really a lot of like major prep. It's real simple. And all of this is extremely healthy and it's super colorful. So you have your veggies, you have your protein, you have more protein in the beans, and then you have a slow digesting carb, which is our tortilla. Um, and obviously corn is better for you than flour. So when I thought about like trying to go plant-based and do this vegan lifestyle, I really thought it was gonna be extremely difficult as well as the foods just weren't gonna be good or I was gonna know the difference big time. But so far, I mean, I think because it's the 21st century, like there's just so many awesome recipes out there and flavors that you could season everything with that it's really good. So we'll see how long I last. I think everything is pretty much ready. So now I just serve this bad boy up. Okay guys, so this is our base, hot tortillas. Then you take the vegan cheese, sprinkle whatever your heart desires. There you go. Then we'll take our beans. They're nice and hot. Have the cheese melt. You guys can hear my dogs. They're hungry too. Then we're gonna take some veggies. And these are little, so obviously I don't wanna put too much on there because uh, then you're not gonna be able to really close. But it really smells very good. Doesn't it smell good, Nacho? Um, and then we'll take the, and you could literally just eat it like that. The full Barry Nelson. We're gonna add in our protein of the jerk fruit. Just kidding, jackfruit. <laughs> it's so crazy because it does like smell like meat. It's weird. So bam, ta-da. Then you have your awesome jackfruit fajita. And then I like everything hot, whether that's with sriracha, Tabasco, whatever. And then voila. Okay guys, so now my vegan tacos are ready to eat. So I'm calling in the big bad wolf to come try these bad boys out. Yes, the big bad vegan wolf. They See, actually, aren't you delicious. aren't you like doing a pretty good job? It's hands on, down the easiest diet I've ever done in my entire it's life. It's very it's weird, so you guys. Simple. And Jonathan and I have done a lot from the keto diet to intermittent fasting, everything. carb cycling. Like just like so many. But anyways, so pick up a taco. I, I like Tabasco, like I said. So I'm gonna add Tabasco to mine. Not this cowboy. And then... Cheers, babe. Cheers. Little chef. Bomb. You guys, I'm not playing. These are really good. So you guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video. It's really simple, really easy. Um, this is, like I said, our day 20 of doing a, a plant-based diet. So hope you, wow, hopefully, hopefully. Oh, yeah, it's a real word. Hopefully you. Hopefully you, tofu. Because, <laughs> you know, all of this is new to me. I'm eating tofu for the first time. So, mm. but you guys, thank you for watching as always. Make sure you like and subscribe um, and leave me a comment. I love you until next time. Bye.